Meanwhile, kitchen and bath design company Kohler India has just celebrated its 10th anniversary and has big plans for the next decade. Plans that involve an investment of $100 million. CNBC TV 18's Priya Shade and Arundhati Ramanan bring us this story. David Kohler, the president and CEO of US-based bath and kitchen fittings giant Kohler Company, has some big designs for the Indian market. These designs have to do with India, the fastest growing markets for the company, and the third biggest after the US and China. The immediate strategy is to strengthen its distribution footprint in the country. To this end, it wants to add 100 showrooms across the country to add to its existing 300 over the next 12 to 18 months. But the investment over the next decade, Kohler's second in India, will not be as heavy as the $200 million it pumped in over the first decade. I think the next decade will probably not be the same as the first decade, but it will certainly be significant. I would say uh, certainly probably half of the original decade. So we can expect at least $100 million uh, to be... Well, we'll see over time, uh, you know, year by year, but significant. And from a total group standpoint, we have aggressive investment plans globally over the next decade. A portion of this investment will go towards ramping up manufacturing capabilities in India because... Not only is India a great domestic market for us, we also see it as a great place to manufacture, to export products to Europe as well as to the United States. So do you plan to put up any more manufacturing facilities in the country? Absolutely. We plan right now to just continue to expand the facilities we have in Gujarat. We have over 200 acres today, so we bought a significant piece of land to be able to expand as the economy grows. Apart from new showrooms and new manufacturing plants, India can also look forward to new Kohler products in the luxury and mid-luxury segment, and that is a serious growth strategy to have on tap. In Mumbai, with Priya Shade, Arunati Ramanan.